Hey there, Planet Sewers. It's Mathlete here again. Today I've got a little speed build for you. I was waiting for guests to come to my Mies Riverboat and to attract them, I decided to build some exhibits. That way they had something to attract them over here. So I'm building a little shelter around it. And right now what I'm doing is trying to just grab that piece, but it wouldn't let me. So I just got a new one and putting some aquatic wood. It is recolorable, as you can see. I went with yellow so that it would match my otter habitat nearby. And I noticed that on one side, the bottom of the exhibit was peeking through and I was struggling to be able to select them. So I deleted them all and started over so that I could not have that peeking through. So I'm redoing the bottom and bringing those out so they're not hidden and adding those back in. So it's a super simple build. I thought it was really cute with how it ended up. I just stayed on the grid for this one, nothing complicated. And I just wanted it to have a unique look about it. The inspiration comes from picnic tables along the beach that they have in Galveston or used to. We used to camp there when I was younger and I remember those being on the camp spot with the big circles, big concrete. I think it was a popular building style with the concrete and the circles for a while. Unfortunately there are no circles, just squares. But I did incorporate the archways as I move on, as I'm thinking about what I would like to put in here. I see my air station back there. I was trying to tie it in with my hippo and otter habitats. I'm not quite happy with how it looks right now. I ran out of ideas, so it's just sitting there looking ugly. Put in some supports and we're going to do the roof. And so if you do download this, remember it is Flexicolor, so you can change it to any colors that you like. Again, I chose the bright yellow to go with my otter habitat that's back there. The viewing gallery building has the same yellow and a similar roof color. I'm moving the roof around. I separated it from the group. Just so wanted to give it a little extra overhang on the left and the right and duplicating it to the other side. I have found this helps in a lot of situations, separating the roof from the rest of the building. I'll usually use it to get kind of on the grid. Although my game, I don't know about yours, but as soon as I change certain settings, it starts not aligning roof pieces correctly. So usually I'll lay one down. If I can't get it quite right, I'll separate it out and then move it with advanced move and continue from there. Since starting to do YouTube videos, I have discovered that my favorite intro into a sentence is and so I'm going to try to remove that from my vocabulary I guess that's the spot where I'm thinking what comes out is and so I would hate to count through all my previous videos how many times I have said that adding glass in I thought it would be neat to be able to see inside I thought about putting some plants in there as you can see I did not, but you could put a statue, something neat up there. Had to get rid of that tree to get the last piece up there. The tree was really in my way. And back it goes. We're ready to take a look at the final thing. Our guests really like it. I'm still waiting for them to discover my Mies River ride over there. It looks like they're finally getting in the queue line. I wanted to do some shots on the other video the other day with people in it and I had to build this to get them to walk that direction and looking to see if I can find the animals I can see the snake I do not see oh there's the centipede up top right and I do not see the spider he is hidden in there wonderfully come around to the other side from the staff side when you use this in your zoo 
you can put staff on one side or you can have guests look viewpoints on all sides. I see the snake again. I see both of them. One on the left, one on the right going up. I don't see, oh yeah, there is a centipede on a leaf in there. I still cannot find that spider. I don't see it from this side. How about from over here? Nope. I think the people on the right can see them. I'm gonna go over there. Getting a closer look. If you see them, let me know. They're really disguised in here. So we're gonna go over here. Have a look one more time from over to here on this side. Get closer. I think I see one on the right bottom underneath the leaf. Alrighty. Anyway, well, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this inside of your zoo if you download it. I hope you have a great day and may the RNG odds be ever in your favor.